Hey, it's your open source advocate and I'm back with another video and today I wanted to talk to you about a really cool little application for the Linux users out there and it's called uLauncher. If you've ever used a Mac and you've tried Spotlight in the past, if, you, if you've done it for a long time like I did, you know Spotlight used to be up here but it was a great little search tool. And then they moved it out here to the middle. They had some other things, Quicksilver and Alfred and Albert, and I don't know, a bunch of them that, that you could put out here in the middle just like this. And now they've actually just got it built into Spotlight where you can do that. But it's really a quick, easy way to launch things and search the entire system to do stuff. I always like to find little tools that make things more efficient for me in the way that I work. I'm, I'm not a huge mouse user unless I'm making videos most of the time. I'm a person that likes to keep my hands on the keyboard. So I love keyboard shortcuts. You've probably seen me doing like alt tab to go through my different windows when I'm switching screens and things like that. So something like uLauncher is a really cool application and a really useful type of application. And one of the things that I like about uLauncher is that it's got some great extensions and it's got some nice color themes to make it easier for you to kind of enjoy what you're using it with. You can see a little GIF here of what they can do and what they're doing, but it's really not just a launcher for applications though. uLauncher can be extended and they've got all kinds of extensions to make it do all kinds of really cool other things on your system. So it's really more about what you want to get out there and find and put together but also you could create your own extensions if you want to as well and put them out there for other people to use. You could create your own themes if you don't like any of the themes that are there, but there are just tons of themes as well. So definitely want to show you guys you launcher today. We're going to go through it right after this. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and all of my patrons over at Patreon. Seriously, you guys make this so worth it for me to do these videos every week. I really truly enjoy it and I just can't say thank you enough. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe. Let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job by subscribing to the channel, plus you'll get notified when I have new videos coming out. And finally, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, give it a like, just click on that thumbs up, and that way YouTube knows that you like it, and they'll pass it along to other people that might enjoy my content as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you again. Let's get started. Now I normally go through my videos where I do the installation first and then I'll show you the application after that and all these kind of things, but I've actually got it installed already. So I thought today I'm going to show you the application. We'll talk about adding some extensions and some themes, and then I'll go back and show you how to install it. It's really easy to install. So they've got installers for Debian and Ubuntu family. They've got installers for the Red Hat family. They've got installers for Arch. So there's really a high likelihood that you'll be able to put uLauncher on your system and start using it pretty quickly. First things first, when you first install it, it doesn't just automatically run. You do have to run it the first time. So we'll go start up uLauncher. And when it starts, nothing really special happens except you get this little icon down here in the bottom right corner, which is kind of the tray icon for it. And then you use the hotkeys of control space to bring it up. And you can see it up there on my screen. In fact, here I'll get rid of uh, this window in the background just to make it a little more clear where it's at. There it is. So now I can start typing something and you're going to see that I get the things that make sense from the system for what I'm looking for. Now this is just looking for applications. I have added a theme, but I haven't really added any other extensions. So with uLauncher, you've got a couple of ways to get to the settings. You can click this little icon here on the right end of the bar when you bring it up. You can also click on this tray icon, or I'm actually right clicking, and then click on preferences from there to bring up the settings. So you have a couple of ways to get to your settings for uLauncher itself. Now right here you can change what you want as far as what you're going to use for your hotkey combination. So I could change this to uh, alt space instead, uh, except that brings up the, 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 the runner for uh, KDE. So in this case, control space is great. It doesn't seem to conflict with anything else in my system, but if you already have control space in use, you can change the hotkey if you want to. So I have the Essential Dark theme already installed, and if you click, you'll see a drop-down of themes. Now, you won't have a couple of these themes by default, but it does come with some light and dark themes by default. Now, by default, I believe it came set up with elementary light. So when you do this and you click, you can see that it's got a little bit different look to it. And then you also have elementary dark, which is not a bad dark theme, actually. It's pretty good out of the box. But I really like the very, very dark, high contrast type themes, and that's really this one here, which I, I enjoy quite a bit. Just gives me a little better visibility with my eyesight it just helps me quite a bit now if you want themes it's really easy to get those themes so we open up the browser again and you can see right here is this tab that says color themes so if you want to download you'll go here we'll do that here in just a little bit but if you want themes you go to the color themes tab and it's basically going to take you to a page where they've got tons of color themes that you can see and it's just out here on github 
So you can scroll down and you can see rematch dark blue and they give you a nice screenshot of what these themes look like so you get a really good feel out of the out of the gate what you're going to get from these themes like this one here would have been another good option for me for kind of a high contrast theme i just felt like the green with the white wasn't very wasn't the best contrast for me so i kept scrolling them and, and there's just so much i scrolled for a long ways down to get to the themes that i picked but definitely there are tons and tons of themes when you want the themes it's very easy to add the themes as well. So first you want to install launch the, the U launcher and we'll go through that. Once you've got it installed, you're going to go through this part. So I'm kind of doing this in a little bit out of order, but I wanted to show you what it looks like and how it functions. So let's just say we're going to use Zorin Blue Dark. I like Zorin OS. It's a really great operating system. So I'm going to right click on this, open it up in a new tab. It's going to open up the GitHub page for Zorin Blue Dark. And most of the pages have a command that tells you exactly what to do. You're just going to type in this command verbatim. You're just going to, in fact, highlight, copy it, open up a terminal window. And right there, we've got that command. What it's going to do is clone the Zorin Blue Dart GitHub repository, and it's going to paste it into tilde slash dot config slash ulauncher slash user themes Zorin Blue Dark. This is where all of your user themes go for ulauncher. So it's one command and it's going to be set up. So we're just going to hit enter. We'll let that go out and pull down. It's copied in. We're done. I'm just going to clear this out. And we can exit out of the terminal and we can go back over here to the U launcher settings. Now I need to close the settings one time and then I can open it back up. And now in my drop down, I'm going to have that Zorn blue dark theme. It's right here. And once you select it, it's set. You're done. You're on Zorn Blue Dark. So another nice theme installed for me to choose from when I'm ready. Very easy to use. So getting themes is super easy. Again, you do it right through their website. You just find the theme you want, click on the color themes, and you're done. Now the next thing that really extends out Ulauncher are the extensions. So again, from the website, you can just go to extensions. Or from the settings, you can go here to extensions. And then you'll have some options here. So you can see I don't have any extensions installed, but you have the option to add extensions. But you can also say discover extensions. This is going to open up the same page that we already have open back here. You can see all of the extensions that they have available, what they can do. I mean, you can just browse through this thing forever. Now, what I like to do, because these are kind of small for me, again, if you have bad vision, just start enlarging. And eventually you're going to get this to go to a single column, which is what I prefer. So I can go through and kind of see what is this. So you've got Japanese dictionary extension. I mean, just all kinds of things. These aren't in any specific order. If you're looking for something specific, though, I think you can search. So they have it as newest first. This one has GitHub stars. So that'll tell you things that people have been kind of saying, hey, I really like this one. So here's the emoji extension. So if you want an emoji extension, you can grab that file search super awesome to have file search built into your system so this is a good one why don't we, why don't we grab this one and add it so again once you launcher is installed i'm going to right click open that link in a new tab let's open up a couple of them let's just do a couple um there's calculate anything so i kind of like that one let's let's get that one too these are always super useful things because i'm always like hey what is the conversion of this thing because you know i've done it in the past i don't remember them anymore clipboard is kind of an awesome one too let's let's check out these three so let's go here to this conversion, calculate anything. We're going to click on this little icon to copy this URL. We're going to go to settings. We're going to open extensions. We're going to click on add extension, and we're just going to paste in that URL that we just copied. We're going to click on add. It's going to go out. It's going to pull this down from GitHub and get it installed for us. Usually just takes a few seconds, and there it is. Then you have these settings that you can set for the extension anytime that you need to set these. Now look at all of this. This is a lot because this is a conversion extension. So it's going to be valuable for you to go through and make any changes you think you need to make. But then you want to make, you want to click save after you make any changes to these, to these settings. So they give you keywords for different things. So if you use equals, it's going to be like calculate, calculate anything keyword is equals. So let's just kind of check out their example here and you can see what they do equals and so much more. So equals $500 and it starts showing you all of these different conversions. That's pretty awesome. I mean, this is, this is kind of cool. Let's see if that works. Let's do equals five, let's see dollars. Okay. So it tells us, look like there's a couple of things not installed. So we need to go install these things. So this is, this is good that it gives us some hints. That's great. So we're going to go do su uh, Let's just try pip pip in pip three. I think it is install. 
um, simple eval. Okay, it says it's six, successfully installed. That was very fast. Pip three install hint. Oops, spell install correctly. All right, it says it successfully built it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. I'm going to quit out of uh, U Launcher real quick, and then I'm just going to restart U Launcher, and then let's do equals 500. There we go. Now it's bringing up all these conversions. So very nice. Okay, so this is also this is awesome, right? So let's do time 12:30 p.m. Yeah, there we go. So Chicago. So this is UTC. I'm guessing. So it tells you what Chicago is. London, Madrid, Vancouver. Yeah. So there we go. So that converts some time for you. Very nice. Uh, all right. So there's some extensions. We did a few things. Very simple. Nothing super hard, but yeah, U Launcher is really cool. And the more extensions you add and the more you learn to use it, the more it's going to be super useful as a launching utility or as just a utility for doing anything you need to do. So I do want to talk about how you install U Launcher. So I'm going to clear this out and we'll go back to the U Launcher web page here. So when you come to their page, you can just go to the download site. And right here you can see they've got a .deb. This is the easiest way, in my opinion, is to download the .deb and go for it but they do also have the ability to add their PPA repository if you want to do it that way. And then they give you some instructions if you do download the .deb on different ways that you can install the .deb. Uh, the way that I did it was through the apt install method, which does seem to get all the dependencies and everything like that installed as well, so that's really great. If you're on Arch, they have basically the ability to do git clone and then run the installer, um, run uLauncher and do basically a make so that you can build it. So I'm guessing this would work on pretty much any other operating system as well. And then they do have a DNF install as well. If you're on Fedora, if you've got anything that uses DNF, you should be able to install this. So several different ways to install it. It's really not that hard, but let's go ahead and grab this deb. We'll go to download and we will download the .deb file. It's very small. It doesn't take any time at all to download. We can close this now. And basically you're just going to do this sudo apt install dot slash downloads u launcher dash y put in your super user password and it's going to go get all of the stuff that it needs and it's finished so you launcher is installed again the first time you want to run it you just need to go to whatever you're using for launching applications and actually launch you launcher and now that we've done it you can see that it says that it's running it's up here in the taskbar so i can just do control space and of course i get the one in my main system but here's the one in the background system I'll exit from my current system. All right, there we go. So we've got you launcher up. And when you open your settings, one of the things you might want to do is launch at login. Check this box. Basically, this says every time you log into your system or reboot your system, it's going to start you launcher automatically for you. You just that way you don't have to go do it from your other menu launchers. Kind of up to you, but seems like a smart thing to do to me. Again, you can set your hotkey. You can set your theme. So this is the default themes that it comes with. I've shown you how to go get themes and install those things. So we can change that to elementary dark. And now we've got the dark theme automatically right there. No big deal. There you have it. That is U Launcher, a really cool application. I think a very useful utility and application for anybody who's on a Linux system, especially where you're looking to do things very quickly and in short order. It's your open source advocate and I'm back and I've set up a store with a little bit of merchandise. I love being your open source advocate, but I want you guys to be the open source advocates with me. So if you want to get out there and get some of this stuff. And if you do, let me know what you think of it. Thank you for subscribing. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did like subscribe, tell your friends about it so they can come along on the open source journey with us. And I'll talk to you next time.